There's the pace car. Pace truck is off. We're going to do this. We're doing it. Green flag is in the air. Corey Heim, they've been waiting for this moment. We're racing at Mid-Ohio. See Corey swinging wide into turn one. Corey can see everything perfectly. The guys behind him, it's a little difficult. Offline, that's the key for road racing in the rain. We're getting caution flag already. Caution is out. You can see there the visibility is nearly impossible. The big cloud of water and mist in the air, and we're going to go caution right away. So I told you I was an optimistic person, but whoa, there goes Jack Wood around. Wow. But I didn't see this working. Need it to be a little bit drier. And it'll dry quickly with these trucks on track. Especially once it stops raining, or at least at least slows down to, to a trickle. See, he's slipping and sliding, and he just gets loose and overcorrects a bit. Get to the grass. Just that amount of time spin the grass. Oh, Matt Crafton is around as well. He did a couple 360s. He Matt. stays out of the sand. <laughs> now he has to sit and wait for all the trucks to get by before he can pull back out on the track. He's been so fast, too. He drove out outside the top 20 up into the top 10. Did he have some help here? I think Marco, that's Marco on the inside. Remember, no grip in the middle of that racetrack, of that corner right there. No grip on the bottom, no grip in the middle. He made contact with Matt and sent him off the racetrack. When we get to this stage break, seven laps. Oh, oh no, caution. Keyhole trouble. Carson Hosabar has just been in trouble one time after another. Colby Howard as well. Let's see what happened. Colby was on the outside of yeah. Carson, and I don't think Carson do it. I don't think he did either. I've talked to some of the some of the teams. At least three spotters here for this racetrack. Some even have four. There was nothing Kobe Howard could do about that. Not he was all. committed to the corner, and Carson just went up to the high side because that's you've talked about it, Phil. That's where the grip is, and it just wrecked them both. You see those yellow Goodyears on the side? They did ultimately make that decision to switch over um, to the dry tires, just like everybody else. It's synchronized air guns down here on pit lane right now. Joe Shear Jr. said, you brought me back a dirty truck, man, and, and Ty keeping it cool and calm. He said, hey, listen, we've been doing some work out there, so the work is about to continue, but these guys still have some few units out here. Fuel's going to go in right now. Um, they're just taking their time, making sure nobody makes any mistakes. This is the point where, you know, you can't really lose a whole lot unless you're not finished once that three-minute clock expires. So everybody going through the paces, everybody coming back down. We have a very different race that's about to unfold when we go to green. So everybody needs to get into a new rhythm for the remainder of this one, Jamie. Green flag in the air for Matt Crafton as he leads them into turn one. Ben Rhodes jumped to the inside right away. Side by side they go. Whoa, Crampton drives to the outside in front of Rhodes. How about Corey Hyde making it three wide down there where it's been really slippery. A lot more grip down there now than they had before. Rhodes is going to try to grab that lead. Oh, and Ooh. around goes Will Rogers. Another truck right there too as well. Trucks over all over the place. Marco Andretti was forced off the racetrack by Marco. Will Rogers. He stays on the pavement. Great job there by Marco. Ben Rhodes picked up stage win number one of this season. Will Ty Majeski pick up this stage? I think Ingram did just exactly what you talk about. Pull out a line there. Saying that maybe he'll give you a little extra room. You just want to be aggravating. That's, you know, you want that guy not concentrating on his job, hoping he'll slip a tire. And that's why these guys do that. There's the move again. But only this time he took it all the way in there. Battle for sixth. Tyler Ingram make it stick. Matty D says, I want a piece of this. I love these switchbacks here, these S's. So technical, and these guys continue to run side by side. Oh, Stewart's going to squeeze them a bit. Leaders making their way to the green and white checkered. There, through Thunder Valley. There he is, Ty Majeski. Great battle with his teammate, but it pays off. He wins stage.
stage number two. Here we go. This is going to be fun. First time today. Double file restarts. Ty Majeski, winner of stage number two. He's the control truck. We're green once again. He did a nice job getting that jump, too, as I said. Clear up in turn one. Can he do that? Boy, I haven't tried to fight up alongside oh, on the outside. Spinner. That's Raja. Raja's around. Is he going get, to get it going? Oh, that's Daniel Dye. Oh, it is Daniel, Daniel Dye. Those trucks look a lot like that Seafoam Green. I think Daniel was able to get out of the gravel trap. Majeski holds on the lead, but Corey Heim's trying to battle back. Down the long back straightaway, upwards of 165 miles an hour. And they're going to go down to second gear down here at the end of this straightaway, down to about 70 miles an hour. Side by side, Corey Heim makes it stick. Corey Heim to the lead. Ty Majeski trying to fight back, but his teammate Ben Rhodes right behind him. Over the curves they go. Side by side they go, trying to take over that second spot. Love the way these two have been racing each other today. So oh. respectful until then. Oh, they, they both get together. Go I think you did some damage. Maybe cut down the tire on Ben Rhodes' truck. I'm not sure why it drove off the racetrack. Ty Majeski. Right Ty Majeski back on the yeah. track. Ben Rhodes now finally making his way back on the track right when I said they've been racing each other so respectfully. Well, we talked about that all day and how as the laps wind down, they're going to get more aggressive. And you're going to see a lot of blocks as well. Guys diving to the inside to try to close doors. And when those blocks are thrown early in the race, you might get away with it, but not anymore. Corey Heim, Zane Smith. What a great restart once again for Corey Heim. Great launch. Oh, contact already. See the beating and banging. And there goes round Raja. Raja Karuth right in the oh, middle. He, he gets crashed. hit again. And there goes more trucks stuck. Kind of starts when they bunch up, Phil. Yeah. You see up front. As they get into the corner, everybody gets together. Yeah, three wide. Yeah, that was Haley Deegan made it three wide. She made contact with the truck in the middle. And then that truck made contact with Raja and turned him around. See the black truck poking out on the right side of your screen. I believe it was maybe Taylor Gray that she might have made contact with and forced him in. I think some big con contact for Dean Thompson, too. I believe that, that's who hit Raja. Meanwhile, it was three wide, almost four wide up front. Begs a question. Riding on board with Connor oh, Daly. Good gaps and go. They're able to squeeze to the bottom. That 11 truck is just so stout. Scott Zipidelli doing an incredible job bringing this truck here, overcoming the odds. The white flag is out. Last lap here. Two tenths better the last lap by for Zane Smith. These two are checking out. Christian Eck is four seconds back. Everything that these truckers have gone through today, getting on an absolutely drenched racetrack, everybody spinning out, going through the beach. Look at how perfect that 11 truck is. Doesn't look like it has a scratch on it. Has sure just doesn't. done a perfect job today. Corey Heim leading his 30th lap today. Oh man, you can just taste it when you get that close. Can't you feel it? Mm -hmm. Please slide your tires off once and I'll be there. Zane <laughs> Smith says that carrot is there. I just don't know if I have enough time to get it. Still going to be five in a row top two finishes for Zane on road courses. Corey Heim, the 21 year old out of Marietta, Georgia. Makes his way down and he does it. Corey Heim wins at Mid Ohio. Second win of the season. Yeah, there goes that net down. Celebration to begin. The 21 year old. Happy birthday. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the way to spend a few days after your birthday. Going to victory in a NASCAR race. He got his grandfather clock just the other day, right? Yes, he did. From Martinsville. Tick tock. 